What's going on guys? Um, just gonna do a quick little tool review. We just got back from uh, the GIE in Louisville, Kentucky, which was awesome. If you've never been, uh, definitely check it out. It was my first time and I really didn't know what to expect. Crazy how big it is. And if you're in like the lawn care industry, I'm oh, sorry, can't talk. Lawn care industry or landscaping industry or general construction, anything with equipment and tools, it's got everything. Um, if you're looking to buy something new and you want to test it out, um, do it there because they, they have everything. Like I got to test out the new uh, Kubota mini skid, which was pretty cool. Didn't like the controls on it, but the machine was nice. Test out the ditch witches. Um, a few other things, a couple like unique lawnmowers with like tracks and stuff. But yeah, they got everything. Um, I got to test out and see the IQ what is it, the IQ MS362 masonry saw, which is a block saw, which I've actually been looking at for a little while, I tested it out there, and got to see it like firsthand, fell in love with it, and ordered it from Pave Tool. I'm um, waiting on that to come in, but prior to going to the expo, I ordered this Milwaukee cutoff saw, nine inch cutoff saw, so we're gonna do a quick little like, unboxing um, initial thoughts, what I think. We'll test it out with a couple different blocks and see how it actually performs. We have a steel saw. Let me sh I'll show you what it looks like actually right now. Because I got this steel saw marketplace for like 200 bucks. Good deal, it worked for a little while. And then all of a sudden the pull cord wouldn't pull. I thought it was uh, the pull cord assembly, so I went and bought a whole new one. Still wouldn't pull. So I had ordered a, an engine rebuild kit and I started taking it apart like six months ago. And this is kind of where we're at right now. Everything's in pieces. Would have been done, but there is a strip screw down. I don't know if you can see that, but there's, oh, there's actually two of them. Two screws, I can't get out of there. They're strips and they're um, torque bits. So I don't know. I just kind of gave up on that thing. Yeah, I've been borrowing saws when we need them. And I'm sick of borrowing stuff, so I bought this. I bought the IQ saw. And when that comes in, we'll do a little like review on that too. I'm hoping we can get it in this week. It's coming from Connecticut, we're in New York. So if it comes in this week, we got one more block job. We just got to cut cap for a wall we just did. So it'd be really awesome to actually use it on a job site before it snows. But yeah, we'll get into this right now. So I bought the kit, it's a, uh, the saw comes with a blade, it comes with a Milwaukee Rapid Charger, which I think they're like 40 or 50 bucks each, they might even be more now, I don't even know. And it comes with two of the 12.0 batteries, which are 250 bucks each now. So I thought it was a pretty good deal, it was 700 or 800, I can't remember. I know it was, like only like a hundred or two hundred dollars more than the saw itself, which is a steel with just I think it was I think it was seven hundred with just the battery. Right. Well, and it's got the one key too, so you can shut this tool off if someone steals it. You can uh, like a GPS track it. I think it's, it all hooks up to an app. Nine inch blade, 50% lighter than gas. I think the saw itself weighs 10 pounds and our steel saw weighs, saw weighs like 22 pounds. So I'm sure it's a little bit heavier with the battery on. Oh, so it comes with a diamond blade and an abrasive blade, which is a metal cutoff blade. Yeah. Let's check this thing out. I, and I watched a lot of review videos before I buy anything. And the reviews on this thing were so 50-50. And it, they, all the negative reviews were about the battery life. How short it is, how fast this thing overheats. Um, I think if you're buying this saw, uh, it probably shouldn't be for like con consistently cutting. Like you're not gonna, if you're a concrete guy, you probably shouldn't buy this saw. You should probably buy a designated, like, I don't know, walk behind cutoff saw. Not a battery powered saw. Uh, we we're gonna use this for like small cuts, cutting block and uh, we got our blades. Diamond blade. 
blade looks pretty solid. Abrasive blade. It's a metal cut up blade. We probably won't be cutting any metal with this. At least I don't think, but we'll hang on to it. Batteries in there, I think. I hate styrofoam. It fucking sucks. It's so messy. It's no matter what, it's always all over the place. We got a 12.0 battery. Let's see if there's any battery life on it. I'm gonna get it. One bar, so we have to plug that in. Got a rapid charger, which you definitely need if you're gonna use like a 12.0 or an 8.0 high output battery. Otherwise, it's gonna take you forever to charge. Instructions. Those. Second battery. These are heavy. These are probably, I mean, if I had to guess, four or five pounds each. So you're probably getting 15 pounds of saw with the battery in it. I would think. This one's got one bar too. So these both gotta get charged up. And then we got our saw. So and then we got a looks like the connection for the hose here. We're gonna put a hose on there. Looks pretty solid. Feels nice. So we got battery compartment. I actually have a full charge. One of the reasons I wanted this too is because we are already Milwaukee friendly here. Already have 12.0 batteries. That's kind of cool. It locks right in. And then you got a gasket around here to seal it so you don't get any water in there. I'll put the blade on first. Yeah, it looks pretty nice though. You got a safety up here. You can't pull your trigger without flipping this. I can get it in there. And then a little switch right there. So you gotta be able to flip that switch to use a blade, which is nice. We'll do this the right way. We'll take the battery out and then put the blade on. Safety first. All right. So we got tools back here. Back side of the tool. There's an Allen key in here. And then a wrench on the very back here. Which I like. I like that they're there. I don't got to search for them. They're there. So what you got to do is stick your Allen key in this little hole right here to lock this. And I'm just going to loosen this. Take this off. Take that off. We'll get our diamond blade. Now I already watched like a thousand videos on this saw, so I kind of know how to set it up. I believe this little gold piece got to come out like that. So that comes out of there, and then we can lock on this nice and tight. This guy back in. And then this guy. It's a 
pretty easy setup. Tighten it up. Pull it away. So we'll lose those. Yeah, I like that. Otherwise, I'd be searching everywhere for this little wrench. Got our hose assembly. So it just pops on there. Hmm. So that feels, I don't know. Oh, there, okay. It's gotta click on. First, it felt like very loose, and it's like a, like an air compressor, how it goes on kind of too. You just gotta seat it in there good. And then you can hook your hose up. Still feels decently light. I mean, if you gotta go, not that you would ever cut with one hand, but you can hold it with one hand. It sounds nice. It's not the like greatest stopping speed, but it seems to stop pretty decent. The nice thing about this too is it's not nearly as loud as that saw is. That thing is, I mean, you can hear it from a distance and you don't have the gas fumes or heat blowing in your face. Um, so, we'll, I don't know, we'll go test it out. I got a, I'll have to measure them, like one inch block, a four inch block, and what else do I got? I got a couple of different size blocks we can test them out on, see how it does. We'll hook the hose up to it. And yeah, we'll get a test run, see what see what it does, see how it holds up. And this one full battery too. Alright guys, we got the saw out. Um do a couple test cuts with it, see how it does. We've got a couple different blocks. So I've got these three two blocks and then an actual um like retaining wall block. So our first one, let's see we got Inch and three quarter. This camera's not focusing good. This one is just under four inches, three and a quarter. And then our big guy here, we are eight inches. So I don't think we're gonna make it all the way through with this one. We'll probably have to cut a little bit, flip it and cut the rest, but we'll see how it does. Make it through first block.
cut through. You just got to turn it a couple times. Not bad. Oh, why? But this is leaking right here. If I turn this hose on, watch. It sprays out right there. I don't know why that is leaking. That's why I shut it off. This should be a quick, easy cut. That one was obviously easy. We'll try this bigger block, the eight inch block. We'll cut through this, this side first. Bring it in. I think my hose is leaking. I'm just gonna shut the water off because I am soaked already and everything's wet. Did not make it through the eight inch block. You can see right there. Just didn't want to get through that last like two inches or so. And cut good. Just 
not enough depth for a bigger block like this. A six inch block, you'd probably be fine. And I don't know, this, I'm soaked. And I think it was a mix. My hose is leaking from in here. But this thing was also spraying out right here too. So I don't know if this clamp has got to be tightened up or what, but it was spraying a direct line out. And this, this too, this isn't the saw's fault though. But this definitely is. This shouldn't be like this. I don't know. I don't know if I should try and fix this or just try and see if Home Depot wants to do something about it. I don't know. I'll look at it first because sometimes sending stuff back is more of a pain than it has to be. All right, guys. Final thoughts after first use. Um, blade was good. Cut pretty solid. Um, this hose connection, I don't think this is an issue, but this right here... Um, I'm not sure. It's got a little clamp on it that maybe I could tighten up, but it, it was spraying out before the clamp. I don't know. I had the tool to tighten this. Maybe I'll just try and tighten it up and test it out again, but it was spraying water all over. My pants are soaked, um, which is kind of annoying. I definitely don't want to deal with that every time we use this. Um, let's see what the battery looks like. I mean, obviously you can see we're soaking wet. We'll see how the battery up. I mean, this drop just ran in when I opened it, but for the most part, it looks pretty dry inside. Battery's definitely dry. Let's see, those couple cuts. I mean, those three cuts right there were three bars, or took one bar off alone, so I can't imagine this really lasting more than four or five, maybe six cuts, which kind of sucks because, I mean, if you're doing a lot of cutting, you got to have multiple batteries, which, I mean, we got three 12.0s, so we can rotate them, but they take a while to charge. They're not gonna charge super fast. Um, I mean, I don't know. I think it's a good saw so far. I haven't actually used it, obviously, in real world situation, but I think it'll do what I want it to do. We're not gonna be using this to cut all day long, especially with the new saw coming. But yeah, I don't know. If you guys use this or have any thoughts on this right here, that leak let me know um someone already said i should get a different blade don't use the milwaukee blade that it came with but i don't know cuts seem pretty clean with it i don't know it felt good felt solid the handle felt good this grip's really nice nice rubber grip on it but yeah let me know your thoughts um if anybody else uses this or what you guys think about it, or if you have any ideas, shoot them along. And thank you as always.